morning. Welcome to high school. We're here with the North Shore Show Choir to welcome you. But to also talk about something serious. We're here to tell you the story of our friend Katie. How she moved here from Kenya and her dodgy decisions caused another girl to get hit by a bus. Actions and consequences. It's a cautionary tale of fear and love and pride based on actual events where people die. No one dies, but how far would you go to be popular and hot? Would you resist temptation? No, you would not. Just admit it sometimes. Mean is what, what you are. Mean is easier than nice. And no meat can take, take you far. Maybe this will make you think twice. Kick, lay out, Fossey. This is a cautionary tale about corruption and betrayal and getting hit by a bus. You can't buy integrity at the mall. It's not for sale. Truth. This is a cautionary tale. Our story begins across the globe in Africa. Africa! Katie, Tarakisha, Binti, it's almost time to go. I'll be right there. I'm just saying goodbye. I'm 16, living in paradise with just animals for friends. But today, my life in Kenya ends. Don't be sad, we knew this is coming. Life often has goodbyes. You're killers, but I'm gonna miss you guys. Somewhere out there is a different kind of pride. Preferably one that won't eat me if I die. Human kids who might even walk upright. We'll talk about dreams and boys and science. Cause that's what girls do, right? Did you ever get a feeling everybody else is happy? Everybody else has friends and they're better friends than yours. It's a very recent feeling, but it's running through my body and it roars. It roars. Katie, honey, have a cow team bar. It's a long way to Joma Kenyatta. I'm sorry I had to take this new job, Katie. It breaks my heart to take you away from the only home you've ever known. Mom, it's okay. I'm not afraid. My fearless girl. You ready? So ready.
joining us who just moved here from Arkansas. Africa. Africa. Everybody welcome Caddy. It's Katie. Katie, hi. I'm Miss Norberry. I'll be your homeroom teacher. I have your roster. Well, I'm going to go to my seat. Je m'appelle Katie? Incorrect. Pick your French name. The French people I know just call me Katie. Just say Marie. The Marie? Marie? Shanice. Chanel. No. Fontine. No. Lady Gaga. And je m'appelle Sasha Fierce. <laughs> I'm Katie. Well, Katie, as junior co-chair of the Student Activities Committee and his art freak, we volunteer to be your starter companions while you find your place at North Shore. What he's saying is, we'll help you, Caddy. Thank you so much, but it's Katie. Yeah, I'm gonna call you Caddy. Well, <laughs> Caddy, I once read on a tote bag that everything fits somewhere. So let's get out there and pick your new life. Oh, 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 oh. Where do you belong? Where do you belong? Where do you belong? Where do you belong? We all get a box, that's where we go It's stifling, but at least you know So, where do you belong? The cliques, the clubs, the sports groups, they all have their seats And I'll help you find your way around them They like to compete, and if they don't win their parents ground them. Who's this? Darling, that's the math we cool. No, joining them is social suicide. It's all college applications and Doctor Who quotations. They wear their, their awkwardness with stubborn pride. But who is at this table? Why, it's Janice. And me too. Ooh, we're not exactly joiners, but we'll be good friends to you. Here's where you belong, here's where you belong Here's where you belong 
you belong. Here's where you belong. Here's where you belong. Here's where you belong. You need protection with that hit helping hands that also just here's where you Call them the plastics. That's Regina George. She's the queen bee. She's always dressed up. She always wins spring fling queen. Where she's thrown to work for her than die. My name is Regina George. And I am a massive deal. I don't That's why her hair's so big. Full of secrets. Yes, Regina, no, Regina. Every waking hour, I spend making sure Regina. The words can stay in power. If Regina is the sun, then I'm a disco ball. Cause I'm just as bright and fun, but also big and small. That's Karen Smith, the dumbest person you'll ever meet. I once saw her put a D in the word orange. My name is Karen. My hair is shiny. My teeth are perfect. My skirt is tiny. My name is Karen. I may not be smart. That's it. I'm new here. What? I just moved here from Africa. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up! <laughs> I didn't say anything. You're like really pretty. <laughs> Thanks. So you agree? You think you're like really pretty? Oh, I don't know. <gasps> Your bracelet, I love it. Where'd you get it? <laughs> My mom made it. It's so fetch. What is fetch? It's like slang from England. Wow, Katie, you're really gonna get noticed around here. We should help you. Can you give us some privacy? <coughs> right, so we never really do this, but how'd you like to have lunch with us this week? Oh, no, it's okay. There's no need to thank us. But there's no need to even speak. See you here same time tomorrow. On Wednesdays, we were pink. <laughs> Wear something nice and grab a tray. Cause we don't do this every day. Say, here's where you belong. Say, say here's where you belong. No, say it. Say, here's where you No. <laughs> Maybe we could... Come on. I don't know why you guys hate her so much. Regina seems kind of cool. Regina George is not cool. She's a stink about glitter monster. <laughs> Janice hates Regina because when we were in the eighth Damien! grade... Probably not. Okay. <laughs> okay. Take their offer and then come back and tell us every stupid moral thing they say. Like spy on them? Isn't that bad? Oh! Daddy! We're your friends. Do you think we tell you to do something bad? Okay, do you have a pink shirt I could borrow? Nope! Yes! What shade? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
sorry, I'm late. Oh, Shane. Here, Nene, baby. Nope. <laughs> Here. Hey, I'm Aaron. Me, Katie. Plus one. The limit is where we're taking the function of. I don't expect any of you to know. X that. equals three. That's right, actually. Let's try another. Wow, are you trying to make the rest of us feel dumb? I'm not trying to. It's just happening. <laughs> when I was five, I fell in love with this Peace Corps guy. I bared my soul beside the water hole, which made him laugh, which made me cry. Miss Norma is a little tough, but you get to like her eventually. Like snake me! <laughs> By 13, I gave up trying. I decided I would be a mathematician. Cause math is real. I memorized a lot of pi, cause addition and subtraction and division would never make me feel so stupid with love. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Somehow, smart with math, but stupid with love. I didn't get it, I didn't get it till now. I'm astounded and not plus. I am filled with calculus. School was rough, but stay I must. Cause now there's him. It's all so simple, stupid with love. I can get it. Watch this girl self educate. I learn math so I can learn love. You want to bet it? That I can get it? Just wait. Just wait. Just once a week. Also, we only wear sweats or track pants on Fridays. If you break any of these rules, you can't sit with us at lunch. I mean, not just you, like any of us. Like, if I was wearing sweatpants today, I have to sit over there. 120 calories plus 48 calories from fat. What percent is that? <gasps> There's no way of knowing. <laughs> it's 40%. 48 over 120 equals x over 100, and then you cross multiply and get the value of x. Whatever, I'm getting cheese fries. <laughs> so, any guys you think are cute yet? Well, there's this guy in my calculus class, Aaron Samuel. <laughs> no, that's Regina's ex-boyfriend. He just broke up with her last summer. I thought she dumped him for Shane Ullman. Irregardless! Ex-boyfriends are off limits to friends. That's just like the rules of feminism. Don't worry, I'll never tell Regina what you said. Yo, Katie, those factions were tight. I'm Kevin G, captain of the North Shore Mathletes. We're a very chill dope crew. Also, Ms. Norby said we get twice as much money if we had another girl on the team. So think about joining. Let's get jackets. Oh, I, um, <laughs> Mathletes? Ew, no. Why is he pie our table again? Katie, you are so lucky you have us to guide you. Meet me at my house after school, okay? What, what did, did she, she say? say? Did you see how she chewed up that boy to protect me? Yeah, she's rude. No, 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 she's the apex predator. The what? The alpha. The predators. But if you're on their good side, you could have a symbiotic or commensal relationship with that. Regina George has no good side! Don't be 
fooled by the pink. She's not playing dolls. She's stalking the halls for the thrill of the kill. Every person in school is aware of her stare. When she tosses her hair, they go perfectly still. All their eyes say, don't attack me. Watch them sweat. Your fear in this biosphere. She's the apex predator. So I'm kind of friends, but you're kind of friends. Jesus, what a day with the apex predator. Will she braid your hair? Will she eat your heart? How can you help small? Your room is really nice. I know, right? It was my parents' room, but then I made them trade me. <laughs> Gretchen, move? Sorry. Ugh, my hips are so wide. I have to lose like three pounds. My ankles are like dog ankles. <laughs> I'm not sure what we're doing, but yeah, me too. I'm <laughs> ugly too. <laughs> you guys are so busted! Hi, Hi Mrs. George. George. Well, who are you? I'm Katie Heron. I just moved here. From Africa. Well, welcome, Katie. Welcome to America. <laughs> Regina, you'll never guess what I found in the back of your closet. Your bird. Katie, this was just the funniest thing they used to do. Mom, get out. Katie, have you seen any boys you think are cute yet? Mom! You got it, baby, but I'll be right downstairs if you guys need to talk to me about anything, okay? I've been through it all. I'm not a regular mom. I'm cool mom. At cool mom. 2,300 followers, likes for likes. <laughs> get out! We haven't looked at this burn book in forever. Check it out, Kitty. We cut out people's pictures from the yearbook and wrote comments. Janice Sarkeesian is a space lesbian. <laughs> I forgot about that. My God, she's so weird. She is? She's in my homeroom. Regina and Janice were best friends in middle school. She was like obsessed with me. And then when I couldn't invite her to my 13th birthday party because my mom said I could only have six people, she went insane. Don't worry, Kitty. We only write stuff about randos in here. Friends are like very deserving of respect. <laughs> and Gretchen, she gets it. Come with me, I wanna change your eyebrows. Can I still have two? <laughs> <laughs> Do you need me to come with? Or I could film it? Okay. Did Regina seem mad at me? I don't know, is she the kind of girl that Aaron likes usually? Yes, she did seem mad at me. I think it started when I burped in the car. <laughs> you care when we both know you're cruel and we both know you're right i could listen to you like a fool all night what's wrong with me how i speak how i dress what's wrong with me you keep me guessing i think i'm gonna go home now okay bye 
wrong with me? What can I do? What's wrong with me? Could it be you? It's probably me. See that you see. What's wrong with me? What is it? It's a calcine bar. My mom used to give those to the kids in Africa to help them gain weight. We should grind those up and put those in Regina's food. No! Food. Janice, <laughs> I'll keep eating lunch with them and that's it. And so she did. Katie spent weeks pretending to like Regina. And for real liking Aaron in the safe space of AP Calculus. Hey, I don't get any of this. Can you help me? Sure. She just pretended to be dumb to get a boy to keep talking to her. And it worked! I blame you, society. <laughs> hey, we're ha having a Halloween party at my friend Chris's. You want to come? Me? Yeah, it's a Halloween costume party. People get pretty into it. Cruel. I meant to say great, but then I started to say cool and then... Okay. Gruel. Hey, what's today's date? October 3rd. My new favorite day. because she's obsessed with this guy from her math class. Hey, you made it. I like your costume. It's different from everybody else. I didn't know I was supposed to look oh, such a weird foreign no. loser. Everybody feels like that when they're a new kid. See, I only moved here like two years ago. Well, it's not really true. My parents lie about our school address so I could be here. The North High School District. Please don't tell anybody that. No, of course. Hey, what did I get on today's quiz? Because I got an 85! I got a hundred things wrong. <laughs> I think I, I need extra help. I could tutor if you want. Yes, that would be great. Here, stay right here. Let me go get you a drink. Hey! Gretchen told me you like Aaron Samuels. Gretchen, what? I'm so sorry, I never... I don't care. You guys would honestly be a really cute couple. Really? I could talk to him if you want. You would do that? Duh. I have to talk to you. Me? I thought you were done talking to me last summer when you talked to Shane. Don't be weird, okay? You know how that K 
Katie girl just showed up here tonight? She's not crashing. I invited her. No, I know. It's just be careful because she kind of has a crush on you. Really? Don't be gross, okay? She's my friend. And I think this would be so hard for me to say. Just promise me you won't break her heart like you did mine. What's happening? <laughs> I talk to you in private. Sure. Katie waited at that party for 45 minutes, thinking that Regina was setting her up. But in the end, all she got was this. Hey. Regina and Aaron had decided to get back together, and that's not Regina's fault. She can't help it if he likes her, and she wanted me to give you this. Oh, you know, when we were in the eighth grade, she... Damien! Guys, I know the story. She couldn't invite you to her 13th birthday because she could only have six people. She said what? Ugh, oh, Regina is a hot liar. Okay, so what actually happened is Regina came up to Janice before school when none of the adults could see her, and she was all like... Damien! Janice, Janice I, I can't, can't invite, invite you to my pool, pool party because I, I think you're a lesbian. lesbian. Well, what did Janice say? What could she say? It wasn't like an actual question. It was just an attempt to snatch her dignity. And she didn't know why her friend was doing this to her. So she just yelled. I'm a space alien and I have four butts! <laughs> it was a bad choice. But she was 12. By lunch, someone had sharpied space lesbian all over her locker. And it got so bad, her parents pulled her out of school for the rest of the year. It's not even true. I only have one butt. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be sorry. Now you know, Caddy. Regina George is not your friend. We're your friends. And we're gonna make her pay. You know what friends do? They got your back, and they are fun to be around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When someone hurts you, then they attack and grind your foe into the ground. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I imagine a party with dresses and cake and singing and dancing and cake. And there's a magic deck that saws Regina in half. And this time it'll take. Now that's a party. A revenge party. A party that ends with somebody's head on a spike. Whoa, whoa, it's, it's a revenge, revenge party with your two best friends. It's like a party with revenge. I know how. Hey, girl. What is that? I use these calcium diet bars when I need to lose weight. I need to lose three pounds. How much calcium calories? Zero. You cross multiply x and then you just bring me a whole box. Not a bad party. party, a party that ends with somebody crushed and alone. And don't be crying. Not a bad party with your two best friends. It's like a party with revenge. Is what we're showing. What's Regina eating? What's Regina wearing? Is she dating Aaron? Regina, Regina, she has everything. She gets everything. Regina, Regina, Regina. Step numero two. If we make Gretchen Wieners think Regina is mad at her, Gretchen is fragile. Exactly. So if we crack her open, she'll spill something that we can use. Ho, ho, ho. Ah, uh, ho, 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 ho. Candy cane grams. Uh, one for Katie Heron. Four for Glenn Coco. You go, Glenn Coco. Uh, none for Gretchen Wieners. Bye. Who sent that? Aw, it's from Regina. Thanks for being such a great best friend. Ah! I mean, cute. Okay, if you and Regina are our best friends now, you can be in charge of keeping all of her secrets. 
For example, her hair isn't really light brown, it's dark brown. Also, she totally cheats on Aaron. Every Thursday, she says she has SAT prep, but really, she's looking up with Shane Roman. And I never told anyone because I am stuck in the bread! It's our revenge party, a party that ends with somebody's head on a spike. It's our revenge party with your two best friends. It's like a party with revenge is what it's like. 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 on you. Why would you tell me this? Because you deserve to know. And if you want to talk No, I absolutely don't. Erin! Katie, I know she failed your last few quizzes. Yeah, sorry. I'll try harder. There's a math leads meeting after school we could review. I can't. I'm going to my friend Regina's house. I can get Kevin or Martin to tutor you. Erin Samuels is tutoring me now, so. Huh? I'm not going to stop pushing you, Katie, because I'm a pusher. I know you're smarter than this. Maybe she just pushes it away from errands. And then she was like, what does she mean she's a pusher? Like a drug pusher? I don't know. Maybe. She's so weird. Let it out, honey. Put it in the book. Ugh! This stupid skirt won't close! Katie, these counting bars suck. Gretchen! Can you stop playing with that stupid babyish book and go help me find a safety pin? Be nice to her. She's really grouchy because Aaron just broke up with her. Shut up, Karen! I think you look fetch. Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen! Wow, how much longer are you guys gonna put up with this? District, Santa's elves doing rockin' around the pole. Rock, rock, rockin' around the pole where the northern lights are bright. Rock, rock, rockin' around the pole. <laughs> forgets is that positive internet comments are so much worse. They create a false sense of love and adoration 
and are more addictive than Girl Scout Thin Mints. For example... Oh, I'm Jeep. Katie was the only one still dancing. Katie looks cute. Those other dudes, they're like SA2 girls. Bar boring and they are the real one. That's Katie looks authentic, but like not in the same way. Her Instagram is just pictures of wine with no cell phones. She is gold. Katie Brand is like effortlessly perfect. I would punch myself in the face to be that perfect. Follow, 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 follow. follow. Santa outfits, and somebody commented that we look like sisters, and I was like, hashtag, Whoa. I like Katie. She's nice to me. I mean, honestly, I was the worst thing at that talent show. Breton move. I'm sorry, Regina. You can't sit with us. What? You're wearing sweatpants? It's Thursday. Whatever, those rules aren't real. They were real that day I wore a vest! Because that vest was disgusting! You can't sit with us! You can't sit with us. Sweatpants are all that fit me right now. What do you think, Katie? Sorry, Regina. Rules are rules. Fine. Take a picture, losers. It'll last longer. She left. She left. Wait. Who is my boss? Now Regina is gone. I'll wear what I want. Which is what I have on. And a vest. That's how it feels to be free. You stood up to her. You were strong, you were brave. No, you know what you were. You were fetched. So fetched! And we're free! Free! You were so fearless! You didn't cry or hide or throw up! So fearless! No emotional trauma! Whoa! Fearless! Got no temper!
attention please for some announcements. First, we would like to wish good luck to junior Janice Sarkeesian, who is a finalist in the Illinois Art Expo this Saturday. Go Lions! Even for art. Art, 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 art! <laughs> Secondly, our nominees for Spring Flame King and Queen. As follows for King, Shane Oman, Christian Wigan, and Aaron Samuels. Okay. okay. For Queen, Regina, Regina George, George, Karen, Karen Smith, Smith, and Gretchen Wiener. Same old, same old. And Caddy Heron. Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. Should I text Aaron and congratulate him? No. no. Because the last couple of texts I sent, he hasn't answered. So you've said, yeah. I mean, he's been broken up with Regina for a month now. Why hasn't he asked me out yet? I don't know. But I wish you'd keep talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you need a ride this weekend? Ride to what? My art show. Did you not just hear Principal Duval talking about it? Shoot, that's this weekend? I can't. I gotta go to this thing in Madison with my parents. I'm so sorry. You seem sad about it. <sighs> so, what are we doing this weekend? This weekend? It's Tuesday. Yeah. The weekend's only like... Several days away. <laughs> I can't. I have to go to this thing in Madison with my parents. Your parents are going away? You should have people over. No, I'm going with them. But if we had people over, you can invite in. And we would keep it small, like five or six people, right? Sure. Yeah. Hey, I'm having a small get together at my house tomorrow night. Do you want to come? Sure. Is Regina going? No. Do you think I'm an idiot? There's going to be a few cool people and you better won't be one of them. some shrimp I can spray with that butter flavored Pam. Mom, I can't have shrimp. I'm on an all carb diet. Why won't you just leave me alone? Because Katie's having a party. What? Katie's having a party with Gretchen and Karen. I saw it on one of the many fake social media accounts I have for your safety. <laughs> with monsters. Like, honey, why are you eating a calcine bar? Those are what we gave Nana Joan when she needed to gain weight. It's somebody's house and they got no bouncer. Whose house is this? It's my house now. Whose house is this? It's my house now. Whose house is this? It's my house now. Seriously, whose house is this?
I didn't know you were here. Is this you riding an elephant? Oh my gosh, it's so embarrassing. No, it's not. It's really cool. Hey, I have a question. I read that the Maasai in Kenya don't celebrate birthdays. They just feel those when they feel ready. That's true. Why'd you read that? I was just interested in Kenya for some reason. Do you miss it? I mean, no, but I miss walking on ground that isn't pavement all day. You have to pay attention more, and it just makes you feel awake. My mom and I used to close our eyes and name all the birds we could hear. We don't do that now. Odds. I was alone a lot, mostly observing things like hyenas and migrations and who cares. Now I have all these friends, I'm never by myself. I mean, look at all those people downstairs. More is always better, more people know my name. I have more shoes. More is always better, cause when you have less, have more to lose. Wait, that's confusing. It's in short supply. You haven't been alone. Try Kenya with one phone. Almost people just like animals in the sky. You know what? I had more of stars. So many stars at night. But here there's so much light. I see them less now. Plus, I'm always cold because the air conditions air. Don't fairness, that could be how I dress now. Whatever, I look cuter. It worked, like pretending I needed a tutor. Yeah, I pretended to be just to be bad at math to get you to talk to me. Why would you do that? Because of Regina. Regina? No, shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. You're being so ridiculous right You're now. You're like a clone of Regina. What? No. I am more and I am better. No one likes you more. Not anyone, not her. More is always better. Don't look at me that way. Which girl would you prefer? I would prefer the girl you were. I were trying to be. You think this works with me? You're all wrong. Looking at this place, I see you trying to erase. What's best about yourself just to belong? Aaron, I... You say more is always better But there's less of you than there was before So if more is always better Then you should have thought it through a bit more
My name is Regina George. Regina is an ugly cow. Hey, Katie, how you like me? Now? I want to watch the world burn with a gasoline. Watch the world burn and everyone get me. I wanna watch the world burn without the gasoline. I wanna watch the world burn and everyone get me. I Never, ever, in my 14 years as an educator, have I seen such vicious behavior. We are not leaving here until you all are nice to each other again. Miss Norberry, I need you to run this. I need to be able to tell parents that we fixed this and that whoever called you a pusher was just joking. Okay, hot shot, through all this junk. Can I just say, I don't think we have a click problem here. I think this all happened because of a few bad people. And some of us shouldn't even be here because some of us are just victims. <coughs> That's a good point. Let's get into that. Um, everybody, close your eyes and raise your hands if you ever had a friend say something bad about you behind your back. Open your eyes. Okay, now this time, close your eyes and raise your hands if you ever said something bad about a friend behind their back. Open your eyes. <laughs> Maybe we should take a break from the victims of the situation and take responsibility for our own actions. We're gonna, we're gonna say some apologies to people who've hurt in our lives. Because one thing I know for sure, guys, calling someone stupid won't make you any smarter. Calling someone ugly won't make you any better looking. We need to stop beating each other up over every little thing. We, as people, have to trust and support each other. Like this. Ah! That was good. That really could have backfired. Your turn. <laughs> I'm sorry I laughed at you that time you got diarrhea on the Ferris wheel. <laughs> and I'm sorry for bringing it up right now. <laughs> and I'm sorry for the people who are below us. She doesn't even go here. <laughs> Do you even go to this school? I'm here for Chucky, but I have a lot of feelings. Okay, go home, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure, I have an apology. So I have this friend who's a new student this year, and I convinced her that it'd be fun to mess up Regina George's life. So we gave Regina these candy bar things to make her gain weight, and then we turned her best friends against her. Oh, and then Katie, <laughs> you know my friend Katie? She got Regina George's boyfriend to dump her. Oh my God. <laughs> but then I realized that my friend Katie turned out to be just as phony and selfish as Regina George. So my apologies to myself, because I should have known better. So your best 
friend screws you over acting just when she's nice. Well, I have some advice. Cause this happened to me twice. Here's my secret strategy. It always works because the world doesn't end. It just feels like it does. So raise your right finger and solemnly swear whatever they say about me. I don't care. I won't twist knots to join your game. I will say you make me mad. And if you treat me bad, I'll say you're bad. And if I feel on this moment on, that's just what I'll do. Cause I'd rather be me. I'd rather be me. I'd rather be me than be with you. As opposed to all the ladies and be nurturing and care. Is that really fair? Boys get to fight, we have to share. Here's the way that that turns out. We always understand how to slap someone down with our other hand. So here's my right. How girls should behave Cause sometimes what's meant to break you Makes you brave So I will not act all innocent I won't fake, apologize Let's just fight and make up Not tell these lies Let's call our damage even clean the slate Till it's like new It's a new life for me Where I'd rather be me I'd rather be me Than be with you I don't need their good opinions, I have plenty of opinions Everybody has opinions, but it doesn't make them true What's true is be me, and I'd rather be me I'd rather be me than be with you Oh yeah! So raise them high, just playing nice and shy Is insulting my IQ? Yeah, yeah, yeah! I'd rather be me, I'd rather be me, I'd rather be me, I'd rather be me, I'd rather be me than be with you. I'd rather be me, I'd rather be me, I'd rather be me, I'd rather be me, I'd rather be me than be with you. version of me. I never meant to hurt any of you. So you can take that fake apology, roll it up real tight, and shove it right up your <laughs> And that's how Regina George died! Okay, once again, no one dies. <laughs> I mean, technically Regina died for like 15 seconds, but then she was revived, so it's okay. Person. I mean, Janice wanted me to spy on her, and Gretchen wanted me to get rid of her. I just. I wrote it. I wrote that Miss Norbury is a pusher, and it's a lie. Three weeks suspension, and you are banned from the Spring Fling. <laughs> Katie. Angry cat emoji. Poop emoji. Scream face emoji. Sent. Hey, are you mad at me? No, not anymore. I like to express myself through emojis because I'm stupid. You're not stupid, Karen. No, I am. I'm failing almost everything. Sometimes I think the only thing I actually understand is the rule of twos. The rule of twos? Isn't that a math thing? <laughs> Bikini emoji, no. The rule of twos is how everything is actually two things. Like how you were tricking us, but you also still had a lot of fun with us. And how when Regina's mean to me, it's just because she's unhappy with herself. That's really smart, Karen. And how getting suspended actually made it a lot easier. Because you could just hide from everybody. And then when you come back tomorrow, it's going to be like so much worse. <laughs> so. I'll still be your friend. Thanks, Karen. Bye. Bye.
done with my quiz. I'll grade it right now. Um, where's Aaron? Turns out he did live out of district. Had to graduate the homeschooler. I'm sorry for everything I've done. I got caught up in all my own stuff, and everyone knows lying is bad, but I, could, I didn't know how many of my lies could, ca could hurt someone else. I could have costed you your own job. Thank you. A hundred. Welcome back, nerd. Thanks. So you're banned from the spring fling, huh? Yep. Great, because I found a way to get some extra credit. Yo, yo, Math Lead State Championship, what? New member on the team, what? A box lunch will be provided, what? Let's do this thing. I haven't thought about math in months. Katie, 100s don't lie, you got mad skills. Skills? It's a cool new way of saying skills. Kev, stop trying to make skills happen. It's not gonna happen. Martin, consider yourself on blast. Can you do this plastic? Polynomials are second degree, so the asymptote is at y equals 3. The derivative of f at argument z. Negative 4. Negative 2. 29. 4 is the slope of the tangent line. How are you feeling? Amazing. You're doing great. Here, take a water. Thanks. Aaron, why? Ms. Norbert asked me to help. And since I don't go to North Shore High. Aaron, I didn't write any of that stuff. I know, it was Regina. I forgot what I was dealing with. I'll take a water. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a tie. In the event of a tie, we move on to a one-on-one -on -one sudden death round in which each team gets to select their opponent. Mary Mount, who do you select? We pick her. Miss Croft and Miss Heron, please step forward. Contestants, answer the limit of this, find the limit of this equation. Why well, can't I remember any, anything about limits? All I, all I can worry about is the fact that Aaron's here and you might be cuter than me because you have a really nice nose, even though I think my eyes are better. But your earrings look way more expensive. Why am I even thinking about this? This is not a competition. It kind of is though. Right, a math one. The limit is negative one. That answer is incorrect. If Miss Heron can answer correctly, we have our winner. Okay, Miss Norbury is right. Calling someone dumb won't make me any smarter. Calling someone ugly won't make me any prettier. Are you talking about me? No, sorry, I'm just learning a lesson out loud. If I could focus on the absolute value of x divided by x, the limit does not exist! I have been Martin, not okay. Katie, on behalf of the faculty, I saw you go in there and take your lumps. You know they're mad at you? The ones that need to hear from you the most. Hey, you did it! You're on. Awesome. Um, in case I never see you again. Yeah, yeah I just. Oh, sorry. You go first. Guys, the minute you watch this, I'm your teacher. <laughs> <laughs>
Regina, I'm sorry about the bus. I feel like it's all my fault. Stop making this about you. I'm the one who got hit by a bus. <laughs> well, I'm sorry for all the other stuff I did too. Okay, fine. I'm going to forgive you. You know I died for like 15 seconds, right? Spoiler alert. Heaven looks like a really nice hotel in Miami. <laughs> that must have been scary. When I woke up in the street, all I could see was my mom's face and Gretchen's big face looking down at me. And they were so surprised. Not even sad, just like surprised I can even be bleeding. Like I haven't been a human person this whole time. I've actually been a human person this whole time. I know, it's weird when people treat you like you're famous or something. It's amazing until it's not. I know I was harsh, and I know I have to change, and people even say I'm mean. But do you know what they would call me if I was a boy? Strong? Reginald. <laughs> <laughs> that was what my mom was gonna name me if I was a boy. So I'd rather be mean. Well, I'm sorry if I still took your spot in the food chain. Not your fault. Don't apologize for things that aren't your fault. Katie, if you wanna be happy in life, you have to not care what people say about you. Okay, do we have all our contestants for Spring Flame King and Queen up here on the stage? Um, I just want to say that you guys are all winners, and I cannot be more happy that this school year is ending. The winner of Spring Flame King is Shane Oman. Woo! Yeah! Janice, can I talk to you? Sorry, I'm busy. Janice, please. And our winner of Spring Flame Queen is Caddy Heron. What? Unbelievable! Oh. Wow, um, I think people voted for me because they think I pushed someone in front of a bus, which is terrible. Not your fault. Don't apologize. No, I won't. But what is my fault is for the way I treated my friend Janice. So, I'm sorry. I lied to you and I left you out. If you don't want to be friends anymore, I totally understand. You know, it's not really required of you to make a speech. Almost done, I promise. When I first moved here, I wanted people to like me so bad, so I thought I had to change myself just to be good enough. We all do that sometimes, I think. But looking at you all from up here, I just wish you could see it. You're all awesome. Really, most people just take the crown and go. <laughs> crown, right. Here in this life, it could be platinum. Actually, it's kind of dumb. We could really just share it. Oh! 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 Cheap, fake, easy to break. That's how I used to be. Here, take it. Now I'm awake. I'll tell you what I see. Plastic don't shine. Glitter don't shine. Rhinestones don't shine the way you you are so real, you are so rare. I see you there, I see you. I see stars, so many stars tonight. You couldn't make diamonds dull. You are so beautiful. I see
freshmen, the moral of our story is thus. Calling someone stupid won't make you any smarter. And even the people you don't like at all are still people. I see stars. I see stars. I see stars. So many stars here. I see stars. You could make diamonds go. You are so beautiful. I see stars. I see stars. You shine as bright as day. I will look out for you. Will I each other's way? We are so real. We are so rare. We see you there. We see you. We're all stars. We're all stars. So many stars. Stars. So here we go. <laughs> We love you, Cheryl. You do everything for us. She does life, she does tech, she does it all. We love you, Cheryl.
we have our costume product uh, production, uh, Miss Juliana. She's downstairs, so you won't be able to see her, but. And lastly, um, for our producer, Lisa.